So this is how the schedule works at Concord Middle School. So the way you read a sixth grade schedule is you look at the top block where it says A, B, C, D, E, F. And there's six letters in the cycle. You start with A and then you go throughout. But then the next week you'll start with F. So you keep rotating and when the week ends you just start where you left off. And you'll see where your classes are, so where it says period one, that's where you'll have, um, that's your first period, then second, then third, and you just go through the rotation like that. Our schedules have a six letter cycle. Say on A day you'll have gym class, but on B day you won't have gym class. And it's just like a way to organize um, which classes you have each day. But you can think of it as a waterfall. So as if you have it, social studies first period, um, on A day, then you'll have it second period on B day, and you'll have it third period on C day. The bell schedule is something how we go by our day, so we know when period one ends and period two starts. But each team has a different bell schedule. In the beginning, we all start with the same bells, but then once Forrest or whatever um, team has the first lunch goes to lunch, then it's all different. So you have to know when your bell is. And you have um, a four minute walking period to get to each class. Don't be worried, that's more than enough time to get to your class. Um, so Fundamentals is a class that you only have first trimester, um, which there's three trimesters, and it's basically a class to help you learn how to use your planner, how to send a proper email to your teachers, and how to manage your homework. You learn about how to use your laptop and like what you should and shouldn't do on it. Student Council is where you can discuss certain topics like having a spirit week or a change in the school. Like maybe start fundraisers to get money for certain activities that we want to do in the school, like socials and... But you can really discuss multiple topics and it's generally a fun place to be. We have a suggestion box that you put in suggestions at the library. We bring them to student council to talk about them and see if we can make it a part of the school. Student council is very fun. If you and some friends join, you can together change things about the school. You can help the school evolve and to become a better place, but also you can socialize with people that are above your grade and below your grade if you are in seventh and eighth grade. Being a sixth grader in student council, I find it is something enjoyable and I wait for Thursdays every week. Home base is the first bell ringed and everyone's in school. They read um, the announcements with their teacher and then they do the Pledge of Allegiance, and after that, whatever the teacher decides. Like some home bases, they join with other home bases to watch movies, some just watch videos. Uh, also, for something that's fun in home base, Molly the dog comes to some home bases and you sign up to get to meet her. Home base is a great way to make friends, and I didn't know uh, one of my current friends until he and I had met in home base. Home base is our school's advisory program. Um, every morning the bell rings and you go to a room and the, there's about like 10 people and you hang around for 10 minutes basically. It's fun. Every like two weeks on Thursday we'll have a extended home base which involves like some larger activity. Sometimes you can just do whatever you want but then other times we talk about things like bullying or um, I think we talked about like social media once. About how to make CMS a better place because there's always room for improvement. We sometimes play a game where we like we do tag but it's like we don't run with speed walk tag. Teachers will like play music sometimes they bring in food which is the best. I've gotten really close with everyone in my home base because they're all really sweet. Home base is great you get to hang around with friends and just relax maybe like plan out your day. Home base provides a safe environment in which students build community and establish connections. Base stands for bully proofing challenges, academic advising, social emotional development, education, entertainment, and fun. I really think um, being in middle school is different from elementary school because you have a lot more freedom and you can like go to classes yourself. You don't have to like have a teacher walk you to your classes. Being a student at Concord Middle School is super fun because it's always changing and you always are with different people. 
so it's not like the same people every class. I think Concord Middle School is a great place to learn, hang out with friends, and overall better yourself. I think that the general feeling about Concord Middle School is community. Everyone is very supportive. And everyone is accepting of each other, and that's what I really like, is that I don't feel embarrassed to be who I am. The teachers here are all amazing. They're really friendly, supportive, all three grades. They really help you feel and like let you know that you count and that you matter. I love my teachers. They're amazing and they always want to help me. And what I really like is that the teachers will always take time to explain something. They make sure that you understand what's going on and you aren't lost or anything. They really care about the students. Like I'm in eighth grade um, with Miss Callahan here at Peabody and she offers like multiple days a week. She'll say like, oh, here's extra help and she'll let you know. It's not just like you have to ask her. She'll offer it to anyone. They want you to do the best that you possibly can. Do activities. They take us outside sometimes. They incorporate games and the teachers are really invested in the after school activities. This school has probably the best after school opportunities I I've ever seen because there's like so many. You get to be with your friends. There's like a thousand different after school clubs that you can do. And it's a really great way, again, to get to know people that you wouldn't know. And it's just super fun to be able to connect with people and talk with people who have the same interests as you. CMS offers all different kinds of sports. Like in the fall, they offer cross country, soccer, and field hockey. In the winter, they offer girls and boys basketball. In the spring, we offer interscholastic baseball, softball, and track. Interscholastic means that you would compete against other schools. Sports here at CMS are just so fun. The coaches are so nice and so are the other people on your team. So here you can go to our website and learn more about all the really fun sports that we offer here at CMS. The clubs here at CMS are really, really cool. There's Rise Club, Chef's Club, there's Animal Supplantist Club, Media's Club, GSA, Lego Robotics, Honors Choir, Marvel Club, Math Team, Divide and Conquer, Art Club, Women in Leadership, Intramural Sports, Makerspace Club, Doodle Club, Yearbook, Ultimate Frisbee. This is a great way to learn and um, meet new people. Go to our website right here to join any of the clubs. All you have to do is email the faculty advisor member that is a part of the club. We challenge me and other students went to um, I think Bedford and we did some challenges involving math and ELA and justice. It was a lot of fun. We got first in math and first overall. Child Success is a program which tries to build a better community in a balance in school and work with children around the world. It helps kids realize and what they're doing and how the community can bring those people together. Well, the conference was with these counselors that helped us um, bring in more ideas that we could bring into the school. Uh, they talked about some main points like how stressful it is in school for these children, how can we help them, also like what can we do to make a difference in how these kids will learn and how to make it a less stressful experience. One of the coolest things that happens um, is probably uh, the musical. And I made some amazing friends in the play that I probably wouldn't have known or become friends with outside of the play. The sixth graders, seventh graders, and eighth graders don't interact all that much, but when you're in the musical, there's always some sixth graders and always some eighth graders and always some seventh graders. Well, it is partly the camaraderie with people, but also like, just the experience of being on stage in front of like a bunch of people but like once you're in the moment it sort of melts away and you become your character. You're all creating something together. Each year I meet like new people that like I'll get to know throughout the process of making the performance and now like in the high school I'll, I'll get to know them even more so that's great. Um, school advisory committee. Um, it's a group of parents, staff, and students who are working to better improve the school and make it a better place for everybody. We worked on a challenge success program for our school, create more of a balance between um, for students between work and play, and how do we think of creative and more engaging ways to uh, learn at school. 
the student council is a group of students um, who work to improve the school and give students more of a voice. Last year we made a new handbook for students and this year we're looking to make a parent and teacher handbook and a student handbook. And it just makes more students feel heard and welcomed. So you really, you get to have a say in what happens in the school. Yeah, it's a really fun experience to get to know people who work with the school. The students feel represented. So Maroon and Gold Day is something that celebrates school spirit. Um, usually people try to wear as much maroon and gold as possible and you tally it up. Um, and something new that we started this year is Maroon and Gold Bowl, which is where we all, all three grades, go into the forum and we split up into home bases and we do competitions and trivias and it's really fun. school students in Concord stepping through some important life lessons. Student leaders with the Playbook Initiative spent Thursday leading discussions about race, religion, and gender orientation. They also played out different scenarios that were written by students. It's all part of an anti-discrimination and anti-bias program run by Project 351 and the Celtics Shamrock Foundation, which was inspired by the team's 2016-17 roster but middle school students such an important time so great to do that when they're that age right yeah it's nice to see that they're making that a priority yeah yeah well there was this is the playbook initiative at concord middle school part of the off-court legacy left behind by the 2016 2017 Boston Celtics team, the Playbook Initiative seeks to leverage the power of sport and more specifically the appeal of the Celtics to engage middle schoolers on critical and plaguing societal issues. Started in 2017 and 2018, the Playbook Initiative is an anti-discrimination and bias prevention training for middle school students and adults. The training centers on a social playbook written by middle school students that inspires a dialogue on race, religion, gender, and disability, and ultimately equips those who participate in the workshop with the tools to intervene in challenging social situations. The goal of the training is to teach those who engage in the workshop to be more aware of discrimination and how to respond when it happens. Too often teens, even adults, are either the target of teasing or are witnesses to bullying and feel unprepared in how to act. Individuals who leave the Playbook Initiative report that they feel much more equipped in responding, being an upstander, and with the understanding of telling a trusted adult when the teasing or bullying happens. Concord Middle School was one of the first schools selected to engage in the Playbook Initiative in 2018. Since 2018, over 400 Concord Middle School students, 200 adults, including support staff, bus drivers, parents, teachers, members of the community, including the Concord Police, school committee members, and Concord Public School leaders, have participated in the Playbook Initiative. Since 2018, the following coaches and players have partnered with an organization called Project 351 and students and staff from the middle school. Brad Stevens, Taco Fall, Al Horford, Grant Williams, Jalen Brown, all in an effort to renew and strengthen the Concord Middle School culture ensuring that is grounded in equity and leveraging diversity and inclusion throughout the school. In 2022, Concord Middle School began an important tradition of using its successful advisory program, Homebase, as a platform to engage all 700 or so students and 140 or so faculty and staff. Each grade has approximately 25 home bases or advisory groups of about 10 to 12 students. Each grade also has approximately 25 playbook student leaders who will partner with the home-based adult advisor in leading the almost three-hour playbook training.
um, all incoming fifth graders land in the same spot in sixth grade. Uh, and so the big adjustment would be that our seventh and eighth graders will be in one of our two campuses and that all of our sixth graders will be together at the same campus at one of our two middle school buildings. And so you can imagine the life of a current fifth grader uh, and how cool it will be and how impactful it will be to travel as a cohort with their entire friend group from kindergarten to 12th grade. Many of our teachers have experience working in both buildings. Um, neither building is unfamiliar to students in the other building. Um, and so I think that there's a, a lot of uh, infrastructure in place to address the fear of that change. And, and I think that that's a very positive thing.